Harthy, uh, Dan and I here today in another edition of Your Brand Online. Uh, today we're going to be talking about analytics and engagement. Uh, basically just get into a little bit more detail on what you need to be looking for on your website, uh, how you can use that information to hone uh, what you do and also looking at engagement from the point of view of things like chatbots and other things like that you can do just get people to um, connect with you a little bit more heavily online. Mm, so I mean, at the, the word itself is, sounds pretty boring to some people, uh, to most people actually. Um, but I, I feel it's, it's actually very, very important, especially because everybody now should have a website. Um, I think a few of you guys would have websites which you started five, ten years ago and you haven't actually done anything to change it. You've just got a website because you feel like you have to have a website. Um, uh, but I think you know, going forward, that, that is no longer the case and it, 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 you will lose to these new businesses coming, for, um, coming up. So data is very important. So um, data as to you know uh, how many people visited you, obviously, um, what pages they've gone to, uh, how long they spent on each page, um, and also with regards to whether they've come back as well. well would you agree with that, Simon? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so Analyx, in a lot of ways, um, is helpful because of the fact that it gives you a real view of what people are doing on your side. Um, and we can get into a little bit more detail on that in a moment as far as things like conversion funnels and those kind of things. Um, ultimately, if you're creating content, um, the kind of data that you want to get an understanding of is how many people are looking at your content, how many people have engaged with it from the point of view of how long were they on the page for, did they bounce off straight away, um, how many people potentially read the content to the bottom, that sort of thing. Um, all of that helps from the point of view of understanding whether or not what you're doing is actually making a difference. Yeah, well, whether your, your, your audience is actually reading your stuff or not. Yeah. And if they are, then you continue that trend. If they aren't, then change tack rather than just you know, continually coming up with the same stuff that no one reads or no one, no one wants to look at. So. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. And you really need to think about everything you're doing online, uh, particularly on your website, as being, as I said a second ago, really a conversion funnel. If what you're looking for is leads, um, ultimately that's the end of your funnel. Um, everything you're doing in that case on your website as far as content or contact forms or any other things like that you, that you might have there, that's really there to get you that lead or to get you that kind of engagement um, goal that you're looking for. So ultimately what you're doing with the data is just getting a view of how, uh, how effective you are in that sort of thing. Mm. And uh, you know, a segue to that is obviously the data is useful. Um, I always liken to you know your website as as a store. I love to you know a, a shoe store basically. Um, everybody has a shoe store. If you own a shoe, shoe store or your website, it's great to see people walking into your shoe store and then they walk right back out. So people look at the website, they look at the data and they go, great, I've had you know 10 visits today, I'm doing a great job. However, <clears throat> there's tech these days that can allow you to engage with the audience while they're in your store. Um, you can either um, you know, integrate a, uh, a, a chat box, or chat bot, sorry. Um, there's a program called Intercom that I, um, I've, I've used before, which is quite useful. Um, but I think there's, there's other means as well, isn't there? Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a bunch of different chatbots on the market. Um, they're actually quite easy to even build now, so you can you can build yourself kind of custom ones if you want to. Um, ultimately, the idea of a chatbot is really something that just engages the, um, the user. Um, ask them questions potentially around what they're uh, on the site for, mm. um, tries to get them interacting because of the fact that obviously an interaction is going to be a much um, deeper kind of connection than them just reading a piece of content or something like that and then yeah, leaving. Yeah, and you, you can track yeah. someone's IP and then you can actually have an automated, hey, welcome back, Bob. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so mm. there's all of those kind of things. Chatbots ultimately are a nice way just to get people to engage again on a deeper mm. level with the site. Yeah. So especially if you're using a site to trying to generate leads and so forth, um, you can actually get data to see where someone's uh, pinging from or as in someone's logging in to look at your site. So if they are in Australia, for example, it might be a good idea to engage with them or if they're trying to engage with you but they're pinging from Russia or something like that, mm. is, is a good chance that you're just being, um, I don't know what the word is, spam is probably the wrong word, but yeah. uh, being shopped. That's probably the right word there. Yeah, indeed. Hmm. And if you're thinking just external to the chatbots thing, if you're thinking about engagement, um, ultimately if you think about your your ultimate goal being to get a sort of warmish lead, 
um, getting people onto a newsletter, getting people to follow you on Facebook, getting people to interact with you on Twitter, all those kind of things are a nice way to start to warm a lead. Um, particularly an email address is, is if you're thinking about any, any one piece of data that you might want, an email address ultimately is kind of the most important thing that you can get out of a, uh, a user as they come to your site. So a chatbot or any of these kind of things mm. or even just a pop-up that asks them for their email address to put them on your newsletter, all of that kind of stuff is a nice way to just get a deeper level of engagement I, with people. I'd add to that that yeah. with regards to getting someone's e- email, maybe you want to just uh, you know include a little message that's a bit cheeky to say, we promise we won't spam you. Because everybody's be asking for email. Yeah. <laughs> everybody's asking for email addresses these days. Um, but that's it. That's pretty sh- short and sharp. Um, data is very critical. So then that allows you to analyze what you're doing. That then in turn allows you to engage with your audience. Um, yeah. So to get your, and that's how you get clients. If they're engaged, they'll, yeah. they'll come back. Absolutely. Uh, that's it. So uh, tune in for the next session. Uh, thank you for joining us. Very good. Thanks. Thanks. Bye.